Hi, I'm Dr. Michael George, and this is what I tell my patients during a typical cataract evaluation. Cataract surgery is the most commonly performed surgery in the United States, because if you live long enough, you will develop a cataract. So most people need to have this procedure done eventually. Typically, the natural lens we are born with is clear, but it becomes cloudy as we age. This cloudy lens is what we call a cataract. During cataract surgery, we remove the cloudy lens from the eye and replace it with a clear artificial intraocular lens, or IOL. There are several IOL options available, each with its own characteristics and benefits. Here are some of the main types of IOLs used in cataract surgery. Number one, monofocal IOLs. They're the most common type of IOLs used in cataract surgery. Monofocal IOLs give clear vision at one specific location, which is typically set to see well in the distance. After surgery, this allows patients to drive or watch TV without needing glasses, but intermediate vision tasks such as computer work or near vision tasks, such as reading a book or phone, would still require reading glasses. The second type is multifocal IOLs. These IOLs are designed with different zones or rings to provide vision at multiple distances, typically providing good distance, intermediate, and near, and significantly reduce the need for using glasses after surgery. Multifocal IOLs are popular because they can often eliminate the need for glasses most of the time altogether, but they only work well if your eye is healthy enough other than the cataract. The technology used that allows these lenses to provide clear intermediate and near vision has the associated effect of creating a small and typically manageable halo around lights at night or in low light conditions. Some eye conditions can amplify this halo, making it more bothersome. Other eye conditions can interfere with the technology in multifocal IOLs, making all vision lower quality than what a monofocal IOL could provide. The third type is extended depth of focus lenses, or EDOFs. EDOF IOLs are a newer type of IOL that provide an extended range of vision, including distance, intermediate, and some near vision. The intermediate and near vision they provide is not as strong as multifocal IOLs, but it is still better than monofocal IOLs. They work by manipulating the way light is focused on the retina, creating a greater depth of focus. EDOF IOLs can reduce the dependence on glasses for many daily activities. The fourth type is pinhole IOLs. These are also a newer type of IOL which can provide better intermediate and near vision than monofocals which gives freedom from needing glasses in many situations. These work best in specific patients who have corneal irregularities, such as people who have scarring from previous radial keratotomy or RK surgery, but may work well in any patient. The drawback in pinhole IOLs is they reduce peripheral vision, so they are usually implanted in only one eye. A fifth type are toric IOLs. Toric IOLs are specifically designed to correct astigmatism, which is a common refractive error. They have different powers in different meridians of the lens, allowing for astigmatism correction during cataract surgery. Both monofocal and multifocal IOLs can be offered in toric versions. A sixth type are accommodating IOLs. These IOLs are designed to mimic the natural focusing ability of the eye by moving forward and backward as your eye muscle contracts allowing for a range of focus at different distances. However, this technology is older than the other technologies and is not as predictable in how well they function after the eye has healed from surgery. The choice of IOL depends on various factors, including the patient's visual needs, lifestyle, and overall eye health. It is important to have a thorough discussion with an eye surgeon who takes the time to determine what the most suitable IOL option for each individual patient is.